Got some yeah, jack stands. Trucks coming. I don't want to be in here. And uh, I just kind of cut fall off, or no, it's still on, huh? Just get some trucks. Coming. It's a moment of a little bit jacked it up and it's just totally free well not totally I guess I should go up and maybe a little bit more it's not good you can take a wheel off with the with these still on now the moment of truth the spindle it seems to look fine to me not that I'm a spindle expert. Okay. Cool. You have a big old... I'm not sure you're going to have to drive to town and get a pull up. You never dreamed it was going to pop off the seat. Oh, we could have cut it. It's in like perfect condition. As far as I can tell. Knock on airstream wood. Well, there's wood. We had to do the jacks just because there's so many trucks coming by shaking this thing all day. Go for you. All right. I already got the new one on. It came off really easy. Not easy. Wires just needed to snip them. And I think we're ready to get it all clean so you can see if there's damage and there really is it. And the threads you want to check as well. They look good. I better get to doing my job down here. Better record this. Oh, cool. I don't know if I've ever done it that well and efficient. Got to ram it until it starts oozing out of there. Oozing. It does look like uh, the right word for that color, ooze. Oh, and the other sides, okay. Tack it from three angles. I gotcha. We also did grab a pipe to put it over Push that in a little bit better as we hammer. I just happen to have this. I have a lot of tools. Already doing the small one. Big one there. Though we need to put the backing plate on. Oh yeah, before I get that sealed. On. Yeah. This didn't quite go over it quite well enough, so we're gonna use the old race, or the old bearings to smash that. All right, a bit extra grease it went on really quite easily. This grease keeps the dirt out of it. Keeps the dirt out of it with the grease. So it ended up costing, uh, I think this was like 90. That was like uh, the hub and bearings and everything. Or is 120 maybe, so. $30 more than the other store in Washington, but you know, maybe $200 less shipping, overnighting, and no $350 uh, towing bill. All right. All right, how long has this been? Can I put one more bearing in there? Yep, yep. Yeah. <laughs> 
Did we use a new washer? Yeah. So we use a new instead of the one that has this notch, just a round one. Uh, such is life. Pushing it on in. Grease coming out everywhere. We're moving fast, sorry. We didn't even show the, took these off. That took some effort, not a lot. No more effort than normal. And then we're seeing if we need to jack it up or not. I think we need to go bottom first. And then over here, it's jack it here now. and jack here. This jack to get it up a little higher. Would be good if it's okay. Oh, hey. What's up? An update. Uh, just working on the wires for the brakes. Here. I'll show why this part seems to be taking the longest because uh, I decided to use this heavy, heavy wire once upon a time that could hold up all the pounding of the underneath, which is held up very well, but it's a pain in the butt to... Probably why the wheel didn't fall off all the way. Yeah. So, almost done. I'll tell you why this thing wouldn't work. Why? That thing takes a lot of heat from milk those babies. Oh yeah? They are really tough. The thing that took us the longest was finding this out of the whole project, and then uh, packing up is taking us the second longest.